Hey everyone, welcome to What's New on Playwright, version 150 and 151. Let's look at the agenda. First of all, we have Copy Prompt. That's a way for you to copy the prompt into AI to help you debug your tests. We have Capture Git Info in your HTML reports. We now have support for Firebase authentication. We've got match only visible locators, some test step improvements, and some area snapshots improvements. Let's dive straight in. So first of all, copy prompt. Copy prompt, best way to show you is with a demo. So let's jump into the demo. Now here I've got a test that's failed on CI. And down in my artifact section, I've got a playwright report, which I can download. Now when I open up the report, I can see my test that's failed. And I can click and open this. And you can see I've got the error message, it timed out, the locator, the array, and I'll have a little bit of a description of what's going on. But over here on the right-hand side, I have this new button, Copy Prompt. Let's click it and see what it does. Now here, I've opened it up in a GitHub guest. So let's go through the actual prompt just so you understand what it does. First of all, it starts off with some instructions. It's saying, following playwright test failed, explain why, be concise, respect playwright best practices, and provide a snippet of code with a fix if possible. Then it gives us a test info with the name and the location and the error details, which is the error message we just saw in the HTML report. But it's also giving us a page snapshot. So it's going through the area snapshot of the actual page with all the elements and all the texts. It then gives all the source code of the actual file. And it also has the local changes. So I can see the git diff of what has actually been changed what was removed, what was added, et cetera. So this is quite a lot of information. And this is what we are going to copy and paste into our favorite AI provider. And I'll paste it in here. And let's change the model to use O3 Mini. But we could use any here. And let's scroll down and see what it gives us. So look at this. It's basically said the test fails because the expected text order in your check both items function doesn't match the actual order of the to-do items on the page. According to the snapshot and the error details, the first item is buy some cheese, followed by, by feed the cat. However, the test expected the opposite order. Playwright best practices suggest that your test should reflect the actual UI behavior. And if the UI displays to do is in the order they were added, then your expectation should match that order. Alternatively, if the order is not guaranteed, you could assert that they don't rely on order. And below, they've given us a fixed version of the check both items. Uh, the function that we created, and it reflects the actual order. And we've got a nice copy button that we can then just basically uh, copy that and paste it into our editor. Let's go ahead and do that and see if it works. And nice, all our tests seem to be passing. So you can see with the help of our copy prompt button, we can get better, better error messaging and better suggestions of how to debug our tests and how to fix our tests. And the copy prompt button is also available in UI mode. So if you're developing locally and you have some errors and you're not sure what the error message is saying and you want a little help from the AI, click on the copy prompt button and paste it into your favorite AI provider. Now, in order to include the diff in the prompt, in order to make sure that the AI is smart enough to have access to the git diff, make sure you put into your Playwright config capture git info diff true. Nice, let's move on to the next feature, get info in your HTML report. So if you want to have the info of who actually made the pull request and a link to the pull request, you can add this in the metadata tag of your HTML report. In order to do that, it actually is by default if you're using GitHub, GitLab, and Jenkins. But if you're not, then you need to specify this line, capture git info, comment true. Next up, we have support for Firebase authentication. We can now save into the storage state. Uh, so authentication with Firebase now just works out of the box. Make sure you're adding in index DB true into the storage state. Match only visible locators. So here we have two buttons. We have one with display none and one with submit. And if you're using get by text, you will encounter a strict mode violation because it's going to find all the elements on the page, whether they're visible or hidden. 
And if you only want to show the ones that are visible and test for those, you can put in dot filter visible true. Next is step step improvements. We can now add timeouts to the test steps. And we can also skip a step. So for example, if you have a step that is specifically not relevant for mobiles, you can add in the is mobile fixture and skip it for anything that is using the emulation of mobile. You can attach to a test step. When you do that, it's going to have this little icon right here on the actual test step where you can just go straight to that attachment. And in order to do that, make sure you pass in step and then you await step.attach and add your attachment in there. Area snapshots update. So to match area snapshots, if you're using area snapshots, really, really cool. Um, we can now store the snapshots in a separate YAML file. And if you want to update your snapshots, you can update all of them or only changed ones. And you can choose the method of how to update them, whether you want to use um, overwrite or three-way or patch. And to update them, it's npx playwright test dash dash update dash snapshots equals changed dash dash update source method equals three way. Now, if you'd like some more information and a video on the area snapshots and how this works, let me know in the comments. And let's recap. We just showed you the copy prompt button, so make sure you try that out and tell us what you think. Capture Git info in the HTML reports. We now support Firebase authentication. You can match only visible locators with dot filter visible true, a lot of step test improvements, and some area snapshot improvements. And that's it. So make sure you update Playwright to the latest version. Happy testing, everyone.